The arrival of the cranes was something that we set up really three years ago. When they floated up uh, on that vessel, it certainly was an exciting time for us. When I became governor four and a half years ago, we dreamed of this port being a dynamic port of the future, and we knew we had to have these types of cranes. So Jonathan, uh, tell me about. Safe working load is 100 tons under the beam. We went a little bit larger, which gives us the capabilities to go heavy lift. So these are not just container cranes. These can be outfit for bulk, great bulk, pipe, anything that is necessary, anything you can pull off a vessel. Funding for the cranes came out of the $570 million community development block grant from U.S. Housing and Urban Development. We could not be engaged in this restoration program, this expansion program, and certainly could not have purchased the cranes uh, without the funding from the federal government and, and from HUD. And when you go to get customers from around the world, they've got to see these cranes. And, and that's where our next great opportunity is, is the jobs that are being created here, the opportunity for services and goods to pour into this port from all over the world, and for us to export our goods that are manufactured here in Mississippi around the world. Uh, I think it's, it's good to bring the cranes into South Mississippi, uh, create more jobs. I think that'd be good for the economy. Having the cranes here, it's not that we're waiting for the project to be completed uh, in 2017. We're gonna put these to work now. We're working with Dole, we're working with Crowley, we're working with Camores, all of our existing tenants, and they're seeing the progress now. I think it represents what I've been talking about all along, is moving Mississippi to a next level on so many ways, on economic development and tourism, but if we're gonna have a port, have a port. If you're gonna be a bear, be a grizzly. Man, they're big. But they represent, uh, you know, one more aspect of diversity for our port. Uh, knowing on the front end what it would bring as far as folks looking at uh, the opportunity to do business here. This change in the skyline has kind of uh, put us on the ports map to a greater degree in being able to market and tell the world, say, look, this is a great place to come in and get out of very quickly and have an efficient operation. I think we're going to have much more business um, coming through the port and also um, expansion of the resources that are already here to be more productive. And I think it's going to be great just to get more product coming through the port. Ultimately, these cranes are so advanced you set the computer, they're able to run, you do have an operator from the International Longshoremen's Association that's in there, the expertise that they have, they're gonna be able to move somewhere about 35 to 37 containers an hour, as opposed to what we now have on site, which is 25 to 27 containers an hour. Customers will, will actually see, uh, you know, faster times as far as getting their fruit or their commodities on the shelf. And uh, that's, the, you know, one of the main things in our industry and that's what we look for, you know, the quickest they can get their product to where it needs to be and get that vessel uh, back loaded and coming back. Uh, that's our main goal. This is an investment that we made for the customers, but we also made the investment to put the best possible equipment into the hands of our, of our longshoremen. I'm a crane operator. I drive the cranes and number one, that's mine. The first one came out. I watched it come off, so that's my baby right there. The cranes, uh, they mean everything to us. And you know, uh, with these cranes, I just think that it's a great day for the Port of Gulfport. It's a great day for the existing tenants. Um, it's a very special day for the members of ILA Local 1303. We're gonna get more people working. And if we get more people working, uh, that's more for our communities. ILA has a, a stamp to be a part of any kids as far as education, any community activity, or whatever the case may be. And um, to see these cranes come back in and to know that we're gonna actually be back busy in the community and um, you know doing what we love to do. A different port and a more diversified port takes a different type of, of worker. We're doing job awareness and preparedness programs. So the workshops are really intended to have local residents, the coastal county residents, to come learn what they personally need to do 
Some people are gonna walk right into a job. They have the experience in the background. Some other folks might need to do some schooling. They might to need to work on some past legal issues. Uh, they might wanna brush up on some of their math skills. People really just need to have a fair shot at a good job. And I really think it's my role in the porch role to make sure that people have that chance to uh, put their lives back together, get a good job, sustain the community, and be prosperous. We're getting into the high schools. We're getting into the middle schools. We have a unique partnership with an elementary school. In many respects, they're the future workers of the port. These cranes for our students and our community mean economic development. It means jobs, it means their future. With me going into the engineering course, I've, I've never even really thought about, you know, working here at home and now it's bringing, you know, a lot more business here. These cranes, they're, they open my eyes to a lot of job opportunities after high school and after college. So once I'm done with schooling, I have a, I have a chance to be able to come back home and be able to work for my for, for my city, my community, for my state, and be able to help out where I can. Those people that do want to stay, and do want to stay on the coast and have a job here, and don't feel like they have to move to another state or another city off the coast to find a job, we want to make sure that we provide every opportunity for them to understand, first, that there are jobs available. Second, if they want a job, there are opportunities to get you trained. So that you can have a long career, you can raise your family in Gulfport, you can raise your, your family on the Mississippi Gulf Coast.